And we begin with breaking news out of Woonsocket this morning. Crews remain on the scene of an overnight fire. Eyewitness News on Duluth Avenue where the blaze broke out just before 1 a.m. inside of a multifamily home. Let's get right out to Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson. He is live with the late breaking details this morning. Yeah, Danielle and Patrick, a tragic morning here in Woonsocket. I just talked with the state fire marshal to get the latest information for you, and we did confirm that one person was killed in this early morning fire. We were also just told this piece of information, that the fire began on the third floor of that home behind me on the porch area. We're going to show you video right now that eyewitness news cameras captured earlier on in the morning. You can see just how wild this fire got at its peak. Report of the flames started around 1 a.m. When crews arrived, they found heavy fire from the ground all the way up to the roof. They found a number of people inside at the time and were able to evacuate them from the house. The uh, crews from the Woonsocket Fire Department made their way up to the attic, but there was just too much heat and they had to back down into a defensive operation. At, at that point, they heard reports of someone trapped on the fourth floor. Deputy Chief Perot, uh, Roger Perot, with the Woonsocket Fire Department, says crews were unable to rescue the victim before it was too late. We got crews into the building via ground lattice to the second, third floor. They did a sweep to look for victims, uh, made their way into the attic space, but it was so heavily involved uh, that they had to back out. We weren't able to get up in there. Uh, we had a report of a victim trapped in that attic space. Uh, obviously, they could not make it into there. Crews were able to finally get that fire under control at about 4 a.m. or so after about three hours of that fire continuously blazing. And we did talk with some neighbors. They said that they believe the victim was a man in his 40s. We have not been able to get confirmation of that at this point. And we're also looking into the investigation as far as how this fire started. We do not know that at that point at this point either. But as soon as we find that out, we will let you know as well. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear from the one of the neighbors who described just how scary it got during that fire. For now, live with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.